We all te teach you know, job readiness skills and life skills, so not only can they do the job, but they can get the job and keep the job as well. They're, they're, learning, they're learning everything they need to get an entry-level job in a commercial kitchen. All right, we don't want that. And then I'm going to turn the chicken over. Why? Because I don't know where you get your chicken, but I want mine seasoned on both sides, okay? We don't have any sort of, you know, licensed you know, counselors to work with drug issues or other psychological issues. And we have a very good relationship with Walden House up in San Francisco. Um, if I have students who have drug and alcohol issues, uh, I can send them up to Walden House. This is a wonderful residential program. You know, we can do, the, they do the drug treatment, we do the, the job training. So I've got, I believe, three students right now from Walden House. You gotta say bye to I'm not the only one with drug issues in this in this whole entire school, but I'm one of three people from a drug program. And to give somebody like every tool possible to like succeed in life, I mean, I don't see how that can hurt. And um, and people who just have just job training like don't have those tools. So, so I mean, the, the odds are kind of stacked against them. Well, for me. I'm grateful that I have Walton House and Job Train. So like, and and at Walton House, I'm like reaching out for any other like assistance I can because I mean it doesn't hurt to help yourself. Crack cocaine, cocaine, promethazine, ecstasy, tobacco, firearms, marijuana. One day I would like to be a chef, but uh, I gotta crawl before I walk, and I gotta run before I fly. So maybe start off as a dishwasher, prep chef, sous chef, then chef it is. It should definitely have some kind of counseling or treatment for people that want it, because there's still people in their addictions that would, uh, would love to probably need counseling, or even therapy, or you know, some kind of some kind of help, because it really is it's helping me right now through my stages. And we know that about two-thirds of all prisoners are drug addicted. Two-thirds of jail inmates are drug addicted. They don't get services when they're incarcerated, so of course they would test positive many, many times, and so then there was just this constant revolving door of prisoners who test positive who come back to prison, which is why the recidivism rate is so high. California for prisoners is about 70% will return to some, either a jail or a prison, within three years. So three-fourths of everybody that walks out of incarceration will, in fact, be rearrested. So we have to think about a new way to do business. There's no way the public is going to be providing programs for people that are in prison when people on the outside would enjoy those exact same programs. They would love to go to culinary school. So it really is a very difficult public policy uh, issue, how to get the public to want to support programs for prisoners when they, in fact, are very needy on the outside as well. We did the stock, we did the, uh, the, the braids, we did the, the, braids, the, we did the, the stew. Yeah, it's we did the tuna dish, the tuna salad, yeah, the egg yeah. salad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? So we did the yeah. dessert.